you to the community called someplace else. In the past few years, within Wayne County and the surrounding counties, which is someplace else, we've had homeless veterans. We had a veteran living in his car between Newark and Palmyra in a canal park. We had another veteran that was living underneath a bridge in Newark eating rodents and garbage to survive. Hmm. Thanks to Jason at the Wayne County Veterans Service Office and the VOC, we got that individual into a halfway house at the VOC. Awesome. That is, this is a community of the area that is in real need of veterans health, whether you believe it or not. It's someplace else it's here. For veterans, I've personally been involved with the talk off the ledge on suicide. Here in Wayne County. Yes, community is someplace else. We've had veterans that have tore their porch off their house and cut it up and burn it in their wood stove for heat. Community is someplace else. We've had veterans that I served with myself personally in Iraq. We went 240 some odd strong to Iraq. We brought every single soldier back with us. One year after we returned, one of my personal soldiers took a gun to his head. Yes, it's someplace else, this community. It really happens. There's band-aids and fixes. What the Ontario Rotten Gun Club does here is a fix. Every year, continuously, they give support to the veterans. So American Legion Riders in Williamson is a fix. Every year, nonstop, they give support to the veterans. The Blue Star Mothers, Bobby, Joyce, all those in Canandaigua, canteen number one is a fix. They give support non-stop to the veterans. The VOC is out there every day, every year, giving support. It's a fix. That's, that's what we need more of. Do away with the perception that the veterans in need are someplace else. They're right here in our community. Dave, how many do you have on your food box program? Uh, 26 veterans in need get the food box program from the Legion Rider. You can't believe Sean can contest from the vet center that does counseling in this area. You can't believe the number of veterans. There's over 6,000 veterans in Wayne County. Less than 4,000 of those veterans have seen a VA. So it's really a community of someplace else. The perception of someplace else is actually here. And because of all you here today, you're going to take some of that away with help for the veterans. So you need to give yourselves a round of applause on that. Now what I'd like to do when I end the speech is there's only one thing you need to say to a veteran. That's it. You don't walk up and say, I know what you're going through. I feel for you, anything else. The only thing you need to say to a veteran is thank, thank you for, you your, for your service, service 
and welcome home. Mm. That's it. That's all we look forward to. Now at this time, I'm not going to ask you to pray, but please uncover, bow your head, and in your own personal, private way, welcome home a veteran you know and thank him for your service. This is between you, your heart, and that veteran. No one else needs to hear it. No one else needs to know it. This is your own personal way of thanking a veteran. Please take a moment. Thank you, and the veterans thank you.